I'm being joined by a chieftain of the APC, who is one of the elders of the APC from the north, uh, one of those who came out with a communique signed by the Christian elders of the APC in the north, Professor Dr. Nan Shani. Thank you so much, Prof, for coming. Thank you us very around. much. Thank you. And also from Abuja, uh, outside of the studio, is uh, Chief Sonny Moni Dafe, uh, a, a national. Uh, chairmanship uh, candidate of the APC. He will be speaking with us right here on the program. Thank you so much, Mr. Moni Dafe, for joining us on the program. Uh, I guess Thank we you. have Good about uh, 60 seconds before break. But let's establish what the matter is. And let's begin with Professor Shenning. Prof, you and some of your colleagues in the APC were uh, obviously unhappy with what is happening. That's right. And you uh, put pen to paper you had a meeting, you released a communique, and you spoke out. Now, the national chairman of the APC has said, no, Christians do not need to fear. There's nothing to be afraid of. So what is a fear, or what are the fears of the Christians in the north, in the APC? Well, there are numerous fears. First of all, this is not the first communique we as Christians elders in the north sent. On the 26th of February this year, we signed another communique when we were putting the party structure together. And the idea was, within the party structure, we should have a Christian. And if you look at the whole North, we don't have any Christian at the upper level, except one, only one Christian as an assistant secretary. That's all. The whole of the North. In the party structure. In the party structure, the whole of the Not North. in government. Not in government. In government, is, maybe it's even worse. If you look at the government, we have only two ministers who are Christians in the North. Pauline Tallinn and uh, Zira Kume. That's all. But, but so what, so what, the, what, the what are we getting? So some of those who argue yeah. that, that the North is dominated by Muslims. Is that true? Not really. We have the population spread in every state of the north. If the, the difference is the Muslims participate more in politics than the Christians. Why so? Because of the teaching of the Christians in the past. The Christians have been taught that politics is a dirty game. And so they don't stand for elections, nor do they campaign to be elected. And many of them don't even go out to vote. So the Muslims who understood politics participate more in politics. So they, get, they appear to dominate. And of course they do dominate because they're the ones elected. So, but now things have changed. So Christians in the North feel unfairly treated this time around? They feel very much unfairly treated. And because the current government has, uh, I don't know whether by design or by other means, openly shown that they don't care about the Christian's feeling. We we'll take a breather, Prof. We still have Mr. Sonny Money Daffer, who holds a different view entirely. We'll also dissect what's your friend, uh, Pastor Lawal. I mean, he's popularly called Pastor Lawal in, uh, in Adamawa State, and the former SGF, Abache Lawal, what he said in his statement and all of the issues that have been thrown up. Stay with us, everyone. The APC internal uh, wranglings and the Muslim Muslim uh, matter. Get up. And we dissect it for you. Stay with me, everyone. We'll be right back. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us. Anyone who is familiar with the politics of Nigeria, we know that since Sunday, when Bola Tinubu made an announcement that Kashim Shatima will be his running mate, has become a major matter. Why is it a major issue? Bola Tinubu, a Muslim from the southern region of the country. Kashim Shatima, a Muslim from the northern region of the country, is a major issue in Nigeria because issues of politics, uh, uh, ethnicity, and religion play a major role in our politics. Now, for those who will say, a majority Muslim North, majority Christian South, may not be totally correct in their uh, analysis and calculations because over the years it's shown that that is not correct. It's been a very good mix of both religion and different other religions across the length of breadth 
of this country and the reason why we have uh, some uh, key members of the APC, uh, the chieftains of the party, Professor Daknan Sheni, a chieftain of the APC, and Mr. Sonny Moni Dafe, who both of them are speaking on this matter. Uh, you've established the position of the Christian elders in the North on this matter. Let me bring in Mr. Moni Dafe. Um, what is your view on this matter? A Muslim Muslim, is it a right idea? or is it as disastrous as described by Mr. Babache Lawa? Um, good evening, Nigerians, um, and thanks, Sean, for having me, because uh, I, I really thank you for sending your team to the house to, to interview me because of my health situation. I am getting better, and by God's grace, I will be out of here by next week. But for now, to your question, there's nothing wrong in that because truly we have to accept the fact that Nigeria has grown beyond all those uh, situations, Muslim, Christian, or whatever. I, as you are aware, I campaigned for national chairmanship of the party. When it was zoned to the North Central, I moved my desire to the Northeast and sought for the position of deputy national chairman, a Christian, qualified with all my uh, criteria, my CV in the public purview. But somehow I didn't get accepted. Now, like I told people, we are a people that like praying a lot. After praying, we want to help ourselves. We did our own best. I did my best, and God didn't force make it happen. I let go. I want to appeal to my Christians. I don't want to say something because I don't want to get people angry. To appeal to them that, uh, Ashiwaju Bola Metinibu of Borgu had made his choice. We have to accept it. And please, we should not bring up the issue of Muslim or Christian because we are all one. Speaking as a person, I'm a pastor in my youth church, of my church, but I have two brothers who are Muslims. And um, if such an issue is brought up, I don't know where I would belong. I haven't said that. Let me just ask this question. When I aspired for national chairmanship and deputy, where were all these people? Is it that I, I, they see me as a lesser Christian or a lesser human being? Let's put down our side all the same and work for the success of Bola Metinibu and Senator Kashim Shetima. I know them personally. These are good people. Are they perfect? No, they are human beings. They make mistakes, but they are going to deliver what we want as a party to this country. Let us support them. I am in total support of a Muslim Muslim ticket because, for Christ's sake, where does that count in the annals of anything we are doing? We are one people. Religion should not divide us. Tribe should not divide us. So I am totally in support of this. Yes, I. By the way, people that don't even know, people that don't, let me tell you. Boss Mustafa is my in law. He's married to my, I mean, I'm married to his younger sister. But I don't let it bother me. I am aware that he is super qualified. But Bola Mentiribu, after consulting, chose Senator Kashim Shetima, who is equally, imminently qualified. If you ask me, Kashim was the rival, the backbone of that campaign. He went around this country with Bola Tinibu and sold the candidature. Let us give them a chance. Please, let us give them a chance. Anybody who is upset, I want to appeal to you to put your anger aside. Think about Nigeria. Think about the fact that as a party, we must continue to think about Nigerians to make sure they deliver on our promises. Having said that, I want Christians to now come together and say, look, from hence, uh, I we are going to no, work no, out things just for appropriately. Yeah, just a moment. Let me throw this question. Perhaps there is some understanding that needs to be uh, cleared or laid in your party. And for those who are doing a critical analysis of what is going on in your party, uh, there will be a breakdown uh, of how, I mean, you, you heard what Prof said about what is happening in the North and the number of Christian leaders that are there. But those who even look into the government and take a look at this analysis, the presidential candidate of your party, a Muslim, the vice presidential candidate, a Muslim, the national chairman of your party, a Muslim, 
The leader of your party, the president of the Federal Republic, are Muslim. The Senate president are Muslim. The Speaker of the House of Representatives are Muslim. Most of um, some of the, a lot of uh, the service chiefs, uh, members of the, of the security uh, chiefs, they are Muslims. Uh, how do you explain to Christians who are members of your party that uh, religion does not matter? When uh, inclusivity or inclusion, policies of inclusion is being preached every day, there seems to be some kind of distrust in your party, is it? Now, inclus in inclusivity does not mean that you must be a Muslim or a Christian. Now, something that I want to point out to Nigerians is that when we want to divide any GC office in this country, we look at it in terms of only Christianity and Islam. What about other permutations? For example, have you taken somebody like me into consideration? I say it every day. Proudly Urubu from Adamawa State. There are millions like me. Now, who would think about religion in that aspect? So these people are saying that we should look at it from that angle. I don't think they, they are really having a whole gamut of the whole setup. Islam and Christianity are just two of the paradigms they use for sharing offices. What about your personal commitments? What about your achievements? What about your CV? What about your, 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 your qualifications? They should look at as well. So like I said, I want to appeal to my fellow Christians to stop looking at it from that angle. Let me take a quick question into the past. The first three election, I mean, appointments that President Buhari did. The, the former uh, DG of uh, Immigration, the controller of customs, and then Baba Chiri himself. People said these were all Muslims. It took time for us to convince them that Baba Chiri is a Christian. Now, on uh, the CG of customs, uh, Colonel uh, Kashim, I think, from Bauchi State, he is a minority from Bauchi State. If you use religion to divide, to do that sharing, people will be shortchanged. For Babandiade from Nasarawa State, he is Gwandara. Now, if you use religion on that aspect, how do you, what do you do? So we should not put ourselves in this cocoon. We should always learn to think outside the box. We should not use religion as the means of just sharing positions. Competence, now I had this very funny comment. When somebody talked about competence, they said, uh, does it mean that there are no competent Christians? No. Of course there are, several. Several Christians, a good example is, like I said, Boss Gida Mustafa. He has been, he was SDP chairman in his 30s of Gongola State. He was aspirant for the governorship of Adamawa State under the SDP with Salim Jika. There are several others, someone like my humble self, Bid Lawal himself. There are people, but you can only pick one person at a time. And Bola Metinibu has picked Senator Kashim, who is very intelligent and articulate, who has what it takes to bring us to a place where we will smile. Let's give him a chance. All right. Now, what would you Let me bring back the, uh, Prof. the conversation. Sorry, uh, Chief. He's not qualified. Uh, Sorry. He's not educated. Let, let's get Prof. back into the conversation. Prof, I'd like you to respond to what Chief Monida said. I think these are uh, apologies of um, ignorance of decision making you see when you are at the table you can make a decision but if you are not at the table you can make the decision and if you get people of the same ideology to sit and make decision for everybody in the nation it becomes an echo chamber you're just repeating yourself what we know is nigeria is multi-religious is diverse why can't we get different people of different both religions ethnicity on the table so that we can see the matter whatever we're discussing from different point of view in why why do we narrow ourselves that it must be only from one form of religion in 1993 the issue of uh, MQ Abiola and uh, Babangana Kingibe were of the same, re I mean, the same religion. Muslim has been taken. May I and tell it never, you? never mattered. Why does it matter this it time? It matters because we never had a president, Abiola, nor a vice president, Kingibe, anywhere. 
do we want to repeat the same problem that happened there? Let the election be annulled next year? Is that what we want? Well, on what basis would the election be annulled? Precisely, we never knew that would be annulled. Now, can you, from 1993 to now, and particularly the last five years or six years, thereabout, how many Christians have been killed? How many people have been displaced? The, the thing has reached a level to, uh, to the grassroots that the people are feeling. If Fulani people, for example, kill certain people, we don't hear that they are tried. Even if it's non-Fulani that kill people, we've not seen the trial of the people. So there is a failure in the judicial uh, reporting system. If there was a punitive measure for the kind of things that is happening in the country, maybe there would be a difference. During the army, when the army was in charge, there was that punitive measure if something went wrong. You, you understand? And, but now, there's nothing. Is there any implication of the, of the Muslim Muslim ticket on your party at the election? Definitely. What are the implications? Implication number one, our Christians who now have woken up from their slumber will not vote for our party. And we are concerned. We want to win election. We want to win election. We, we, I don't hate Abiola um, uh, Tinubu. From what I've learned of him, he is a very kind person. He gives. He is somebody that made Lagos a very profitable and envious state by giving a generation and training and mentoring others. Now, if he just goes back into a cocoon of religion and an ideology tailored by fanatics of religion, it means there will be exclusiveness of the others. Is and it true then, uh, Prof, that uh, if your party are taking a Christian run in it, you may not have had the vote of the northern of the of the northern Nigeria. Is that not is that not playing on religion? The very religion that you say doesn't matter. Why should the Muslims not vote for the Christian? Well, I mean, they, that, if, that the is, consideration that is, that is, of the fact, fact that your party wants to win election and they wanted a Christian from the north to satisfy this is the why majority we're saying, voter in that region. Why should the majority voters, if religion does not matter, not vote for the Christian? And and we playing with if Christian boycott your party at the poll, yes, the, would that impact on your ability to win? It's based on those who are of the school of thought that the Christian voting population in the north uh, doesn't give as much of that effect. The two f factors, apart from the presidential ticket, we have people who are Christians running in our party for national assembly offices. There are those going for house assembly. There are those going for gubernatorial, this thing. If now this Muslim Muslim ticket is allowed to run, we are going to lose. If the Christians boycott and vote for another party, our, our, our party now becomes in opposition. Even in Christian-dominated uh, state. So could, if the Christian vote, uh, could your party, party reverse this decision? Why Is it not? possible to reverse it? Why not? It's not yet confirmed. We still have two days. All right. So let me, uh, and I'd like to, I mean, who are the options that your party have quickly? No, uh, if you want me to name names. Christians. Yes. That, uh, we have a lot of Christians. You say you don't want a Muslim Muslim ticket. Yes. Who are the, uh, the options that, that your party has? What are the options? We have so many credible people. If you wanted the direction from northeast and north central, we have credible people. I don't want to jeopardize people by mentioning names. But if we had given him those names privately, Tinibu knows them. We've, we've interacted privately. The name of Dogara, Yakubu Dogara, came up. That's one. The name of uh, the SGF, uh, Boss Mustafa, came up. That's very good. You people in the press have been very good in putting that up. But I don't want to just 
uh, uh, true names. All right. But Tinubu uh, knows those names. Let me allow you to react. And of course, uh, I will first allow uh, Mr. Monidafe to react to these, to the what uh, uh, Mr. Babachilawa wrote. Uh, he says, and I quote, part of a very long statement he released yesterday, which in any case a lot of people have said this is a bombshell. He said, quote, true, based on the advice of his new friend, Bola Tinubu has made his choice and I'm sure he thinks he's ready for the outcome of that choice. He has chosen to bring religion to the front banner of Nigerian politics. And being a Muslim, he has chosen to take sides with his own religion. For all he cares, Christians can go to blazes with their votes. But he must also be told that there will be consequences for his choice. Some of them are that Christians all over the country will revolt against the APC to pull the chances of his election in serious jeopardy. It will also put the election of all Christians standing for elections in Christian-dominated areas in jeopardy. This could result in APC being a minority party in both the national and state houses of assembly. Let me allow uh, Jim Monidafe to first and foremost react to this before I allow Prof to also give his thoughts. Well, um, thank you very much, Young. Um, I don't want to say too much except to appeal for calm and patience. I have a lot to say, but because we are going to have to reconcile with all the people who are angry right now, I want to keep everything until we have a committee that will sit down and talk. Because truly, issues have been raised. Now, uh, Tinebo has made his choice. He must have consulted. That's what stands for now. I want to appeal to all my Christian brethren to please let go and let God. I'm sure I'm going to reach out to everybody. Luckily for us, we have about nine months to go. We will reconcile. But truly, truly, we have to tell ourselves the truth and accept that every problem has a solution. We will solve this. I will not want to say much on that because if I say anything, some people might feel offended. But with time, the truth will come out that we Christians must agree that we have to work together. We must support ourselves. We must be ready to have a meeting amongst ourselves and come up with a united front. We didn't do that earlier. And now what we are doing is something that we shouldn't be doing as Christians because as a Christian, you believe in God. You believe that if you want something, you don't get it. God knows best. Fighting for it, trying to raise so much dust, is not the solution. But for the sake of peace and tranquility, I want to appeal to all Christians to please stay calm. We'll reach out to everybody. I hope I'll be among those that will reach out. Hopefully by next Monday I'll be out and we'll talk to many people and come together and work and make APC a stronger and better party because truly we are the best option right now. We shouldn't let anything pull us down, particularly ourselves. We shouldn't. And uh, if God wills it, we will overcome this thing as well. For my... So I, my I, I, I asked the prof the question, do you think that your party should reverse that decision? My... Pardon? I asked Prof this question. Do you think it's expedient for your party to reverse the decision? Hello? Oh dear. I think the line of communication there just got cut off. So Prof, let's conclude the conversation with you. Yeah. What is the way forward? And if you can touch on what um, uh, Babachi Lawa said, that would I quoted some part of what... Babachi Lawa is hitting the nail on the head because we as as i started as i mentioned it's not only at the top now look at the whole party structure we even have um a muslim uh, and then a, a president and a vice who is a christian and look at all that we have at the nation only two ministers from the north who are christians only two and even those ones, the, the out of the, the 19 states, out of the 19 states, the only two ministers. And you are telling us that it will not be worse if we said the vice is now a Muslim, the the president is a Muslim, the vice is a Muslim, the chairman is of the party is a Muslim, the deputy is a Muslim. All the decision so what is the makers. Way the way forward is number one: reverse it. 
the party chairman should not sign this, this uh, Tinubu uh, presentation. Two, the president of the nation who fought for the unity of this nation should prevail on Tinubu to kindly withdraw that. We have two days to go. All right. Prof, thank you so much, Professor Darkin and Shani. Thank you so much for coming thank on tonight. Thank you very much. Thank and uh, Chief Sonny Mani Dafe, thank you so much for your thoughts. Appreciate it. Just before we go, this is our story, a news coming from the Lagos State House of Assembly, and is a reaction to an alleged secret passage of a Sharia law by Lagos State House of Assembly. And the Lagos State House of Assembly has said that it is malicious and unfounded report that are making the rounds on social media that the assembly has secretly passed a Sharia law um, in a bid to deal, to get a deal, to get northern support for Bola Tinubu, the APC presidential candidate. The assembly or the house has debunked that and it says that the passage of law globally is universal and it cannot be done secretly and there is no truth in it. That's the position of the Lagos State as of Assembly, that there is no secret passage of the Sharia law by the Lagos State as of Assembly. That's our we close our program tonight. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I'm sure Kimale, bye for now.